okay guys welcome back and in the last tutorial i had told you how to kind of include the references of these two app router and the push state anchor files inside the elements.html file in the app and i had also told you to just comment out these newly created elements that we will be using with routing and next what we have to do is that we have to go in inside the index.html file and give this a uh, an app router element element so i just give you here an app router and the app router and inside the app router what we will have to give in is would be a app route element and the app route element would take in two parameters one would be the path or the url for which it will work and the next thing would be the page that will that it will import onto the index.html file or onto the screen to show you once the routing is completed so i'll just give this a app route as i told you just few seconds earlier and then we'll give this a path attribute which will actually map a url so i'll give this a path of contacts okay and what you have to do next is that you have to give this an import attribute which would actually go ahead and import the file okay so or actually import the element whichever you want so I'll first import the element and then kind of give this a small explanation again. So I'll just include my contacts slash my contacts dot HTML. So what this line is basically doing is that just okay. So what this line is basically doing is that instead of importing everything together along with the app starting along with the app start we have just since we are just uh, committed out these two lines what this what this line for app router would do is that only when it has received a particular url in the url bar it will just go ahead and import those files and if in case some elements uh, some url has not been achieved for a particular element though those elements would be stayed would stay kind of unincluded or unimported so basically what will happen that a lot of data would be saved on on the on your part and it will the app would be much more efficient in terms of data saving so i'll just go ahead and give few more paths okay. and I'll just rename this part also so once we have done this if you just go ahead now and try to run the app okay we'll just go ahead and see what what we get into in this file so now we are seeing that the file is actually empty and nothing is actually shown and so basically guys this is all for this tutorial and just in the next tutorial what we'll do is that we'll just go ahead and give this index.html file some anchor tags which will actually go on and then do the routing stuff so stay tuned for the next tutorial guys and subscribe to the channel and like the videos and thank you